Uh, come on, baby. The, the light is the light is green. Man. The light is green. The light is green. God, the light is green. So we're wearing Miss Kiki White thing, girl. That's just one thing, girl. We wear her thing. That's just, that's just her period. She on there. <laughs> girl, so she's crying, talking about this thing, other girl, whatever. She ever been on Big Wolf. I don't know if she's, I don't know if she was active on this app. I don't know if she was active on, why don't, didn't you read Kiki? I did read Kiki, but Phil, what are you talking about? I read it on Big Wolf, but Phil, what do you mean? They banned me. I, I fucked up so hard that they banned me. What are you talking about? What's going on, Blue Rex? You talking about at the time of the, uh, the at the time of the incident? Come on, live. You got to. Oh, girl, you got to. You gonna get blocked, sister. You gonna get blocked. You should get back. Okay, you decline. Okay, good thing. Yep. You can't come explain what you say. All right, talk to you later. Make a new page. Make a new page. Make a burn page or something. <laughs> How long was your pain? Uh, it was a, it was a, it was a light issue. Um, uh, but I will say this. The, the okay, I'm banned right now for ten, Like I was banned for ten minutes. I was like. Girl, to help you, I had to go do something anyway. I got all, I'm really trying to go put these orders out. Oh, we got all kinds of submission orders, put cosmetics orders that have to go out. And I'm trying to put these people orders out. Ugh. How long you banned for? Oh, no, I'm unbanned now, but I was banned when I read her, which is just, I know she's in the corner with a straight jacket on fire. Where you at? I'm in Bad Rouge. What's going on, Akina? Official Akina. I'm going to use all of it. I'm going to go by my mama. Oh, you what you say? If you sent me something from the shade room, listen. Okay, y'all. This is real talk. Listen. Real talk. I have a burn page, which is my page that I get all my like stuff that I want to. It follows, uh, it follows the shade room, ball alert. It follows everything. So you not, when the shade room got it, it's no tea no more. Y'all understand that, right? By the time the shade room get it, it's not tea. You hear me? <laughs> so when y'all be sending me stuff from the shade room, it's not like, oh, did you see this? Yes, I saw it. But probably I knew about it way before the shade room's going to be posting it because the shade room is actually kind of like, at this point, it's just so big that the people just getting it, but I, you're not sending me no tea when you send me something from the shade room. Ain't no, you'll be our whole LOL. What? Did it? No. So I called her worse than that, and that's how I got back. <laughs> See, that's what y'all not said. I, I, um, I actually went in on her, on my back, on my page, on my back. Okay. So if you you can't you like so don't send me nothing that y'all saw in the shade room like this tea. <laughs> Please don't. You wasted my time and you. I'm gonna start blocking you. Don't send me nothing from them. It's not tea. You hear me? They are, they are they. We've got that already. I promise you, we got that already. And then I have a page that follows all of the bloggers just for that purpose. You feel me? In case we do miss up. Okay. So you're not giving me no tea. Me, because I'm from Brion. I live in Brion, not Kiwa. I know where you're from. I know where you're from, nephew.
Oh, no, you're going to pick her up. You just hit the big ass pothole chicken. What pothole? I didn't know pothole. No pothole, girl. <laughs> what are you talking about? All right, let's go. Oh. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, right, right. It's an ATL. Yeah, I know you're an ATL too. <laughs> I know you, I do. I, listen, I saw you, Kino. I have been stalking you for about two years. I've been stalking you since I, I've been stalking you for a while now. I know you live in ACL. <laughs> I know I'm not in ACL, no, no. I'm currently at that book. I have to go drop a ball. Taking money, taking money. Every day I'm taking money. I bust a nut, then I'm taking money. Oh God, what is on this bridge? Are you serious? I despise this bridge. I despise this bridge. But just like the back way that my mom was just like really, really quick. I need him. Wait, what? Oh, this is too far. I can't see what y'all talking about. I can't see what y'all talking about. Oh, please hit me. Please hit me. Please hit me, big truck. Please hit me so I can get this settlement because I'm going to get out of this bitch and start crying and howling. So listen, at this point, she's not gonna apologize because she felt I went too far. Um, I've I've got word that she ain't gonna apologize. But I will say this. I will say this. It's like I don't need her to apologize. I don't feel like she oh I don't feel like she um ought to apologize. Fuck her. I don't fuck her. Who the fuck is she? At the end of the day that I'm required, I know what the fuck is right and what's wrong. I'm gonna ring her up until I get tired. And then that's just what's gonna the fuck is gonna be. At the end of the day, it's like, damn. This, don't don't get it confused, bitch. Y'all talking about cause she mixed. No, 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 no. That was Karen. Did you see what I just posted about her mama? That's their her mama is white. And her mama said, Well, I'm gonna curse you out and I'm gonna say the N-word. And then people say, baby, don't say that word, you dripping. Girl, what? So look at at and look at this woman is really racist for real. And it came out. You know, you heard me? A drunk tongue speaks a very sober mind. You hear me? A drunk tongue speaks a very sober mind. So even if she apologized, I wouldn't accept it at this point. So she might as well keep that. She's I'm gonna she's gonna like you're gonna know who you are at the end of said day by this. I don't give a fuck about her. I never she wasn't none of my fucking friend anyway. I don't, I don't know this bitch. And don't care about this bitch. You hear me? So at the end of the day, what she really thinks about black men is that they're niggers and monkeys. And the fact that she got a little bit of black in her allows, she feels that is her way to say it. Look how she um, went off on Christopher Milan. She went off on him not only because of the, the thing. She's, it's, I think she's also, I think she's also anti-LGBTQ. I think that as well. So that was Karen talking. Yes, she had a little black in her, but that was her Karen ideology talking. Her black, her physicality might be some black, but bitch, that motherfucking mindset is white as all outdoors. That mindset, her thinking, is white as all outdoors. First of all, I didn't tell her nothing. That's number one. I didn't tell her not one word or anything. Not saying I'm a victim. I didn't tell her nothing disrespectful. Not one thing. So now you can't say, oh, shaking, you doing too much. Ain't no doing too much because I didn't ask for, I didn't tell her nothing. I didn't go in on her. None of that. I didn't, I didn't disrespect her in no way, shape, or form. So you can't tell me what the fuck, how the fuck to feel. That's the that's the part that pisses me off. And then even after I left, let me tell you something. 
okay, and, and let me make something very clear to you and everybody else that's making judgment about how the fuck I feel. Let me tell you how I feel, okay? So since y'all want to talk about how she feels and it's too much and what about her kids, well, let me talk about my kids. And let me talk about who I am as a person. You know what I'm saying? I went through some stuff in life. You hear me? And and anything that I have, most anything that I have do, I can brought on myself. So I'm not gonna say like I'm a victim. But at the end of the day, nigga, I was literally raped in jail. Y'all know that, right? I literally tried to kill myself in jail. Y'all know that, right? I've tried them in my life. You hear me? I was I was over it. Y'all do know that, right? I have been that psychologically. I I only I deal with the demons of sexuality. I deal with the demons of of self identity. I deal with the demons. All, all these demons are prevalent. I suffer from PTSD from that. I also am, I also have been diagnosed with depression, depressive. So at the end of the day, it, you know, I, I control it by going to talk to psychologists right now. I go every six weeks. I need to make an appointment now. But at the end of the day, this is who I am as a person. And so for somebody to not be, not go on here and disrespect you in any way, and even at the end of the day, when they were, con con I was continually being disrespected about. And I'm just respect, I'm just trying to like, because if I would have told her what she told me, y'all would have been, fuck, she can't, it would have been cancer shake y'all off the muscle. It would it would have never been enough that she could have did to me if I were, if the shoe was on the other foot. If I would have told her what she told me, it would have been like, you doing this stuff? It would have been that. But not, but because I'm a because I'm a black man, I'm supposed to take it and just be tough about it? No, it doesn't work like that, bitch. And, and, it, and it has nothing to do with sexuality. It's, it's, it's something that has to do with, 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 with psych, like psychosis. We as black men, sometimes we get the, and we, and I'm not, not just black gay men, but black men in general, feel that it, it's like, damn, sisters, hold, hold, you know, what? What's going on here? You can't all the time just make us feel worthless. So the fact that she is part white is just icing on the cake for me. It's like there's nothing I can, I can do to her that's enough. This is why white people feel entitled. And because she is biracial, she feels entitled. Not only can I step on you as a black man, but then I can call you a nigga and a monkey and all that stuff like that and get away with it because I got a little black in me. I'm black. When, when, I, when I want to be black, it's convenient. But when you listen to her talk to my nine Christopher, she's, all the Jews were oppressed. The white people were oppressed. That's white music that y'all listen to too. So she's helping out for the, she's helping when it's when she wants to when she wants to be white she wants to be white and when she wants to be black she wants to be black and it doesn't work like that. So at the end of said day, it's like you are really on some fucked up shit time. You on some fucked up demon time. I mean, you can't have it all way. You can't be black and call black men niggas and monkeys when you feel like it and then hide behind that you got a little black in you and the second it comes time to represent blackness you with the white folks the white people have been oppressed how the fuck you do that so at the end of the day don't come telling me about no uh what she going through i could care less that means nothing because i because what you all understand after i i literally that baby my bag i ain't supposed to be here Y'all, I respect you. I'ma just say this. I'll catch you whatever on these Google streets. Whatever. It's no, and that would have been that. But you know what she did after that? She after that, she proceeded to ridicule me personally, telling me I need to go on a diet and told me somebody who was raped in prison, who actually tried to kill themselves, who have to look at the scars of of of, of them putting a knife to their wrist every day of their life. And there's a constant reminder of how quick and fragile your mental state can be in front of 4,000 people. She talk, she invited me to commit suicide. And then in the same breath, say, oh, I'm a Christian. What? I don't know what God you serve, but I, I remember Jesus condemning the act of suicide. Two things Jesus condemned in the Bible that I know about, and I'm not the Bible scout or preacher, but two things that condemned was blasphemy the Holy Spirit and suicide, taking their own life. That's what the Bible teaches to me. And so for me, in my opinion, and this is my opinion only, please don't argue about this because that's not the point. In my opinion, suicide is not forgivable according to what I understand. You heard me? There was two condemnations. Jesus condemned two things, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit and the act of suicide, according to the Bible, in my, in my opinion, my opinion only. So at the end of the day, you invited me to you invited me to kill myself, someone who's tried to do this before and who suffers from depression because they were raped in prison, they were brutally raped in prison and sold as a sexual enslavement. 
you oh you're gonna kill yourself make me feel that just made me feel wonderful in front of four thousand people that's cool that's cool for her to do a black man who she just called a nigga and a monkey let's talk about your weight and I hope you kill yourself even though you didn't do me a bitch ass thing and it's okay because i got a little black in me sugar what apology no i'm not, i'm never going to be healed from that I'm never going to be here for that. I will suffer from this my entire life. This has got this has scarred and skewed my identity of myself. I'm telling you what I'm knowing. I talk about this in depth. So at the same time, and then after that, so after you take this black man who has done you absolutely nothing, y'all have seen the video. Y'all have seen this video. What did I tell her to make her feel like I was coming for her? Or telling her something that was even, even if I, was, I never disrespected her. I, and to that point, I never disrespected her. I never called out her name. I never even made a reference to anything that she was talking about. I, I talked about chicken and fat people, which I'm one of. For this woman to come at me like she did, a black man shows just how anti black she is. Can I say that? Can I be a black man for one? Karen. Okay, and you are, and people are making excuses because she got a little black in her, so it's okay. No, man, we got to stand for something or we're going to fall for anything. She got a little black in her, so she good. She can say nigga and monkey and disrespect a black man to his face who has done her absolutely nothing but respecting her. And I said, baby, I'm going to pay it. I said, you are beautiful. I'm going to pay it. Let me get up off this panel because I'm not supposed to be here. And then after that, I'm gone. I'm nowhere in the picture. I want him to kill himself. He's a monkey. He's a this. He's a nigga. You a nigga, that nigga, and sweet sugar. He needs to go on a diet and kill himself. What? What? What are we going to stand for? What are we going to stand for something, y'all? Real tough. What are we gonna stand for? Click the link in my bio, you will see all, all that stuff in the link in my bio. That's what go there and you can start getting it. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is this is more than what we reached the eye. This girl has some pinch up something in her life that is it's just it's just it's something else. So whatever I do to her, in my opinion, in my opinion, same, it's my opinion. I think it's not even enough. What, there's really nothing I could do that's going to be enough. After I add our bank statements and after I add and find out and get that in, in, and I file the freedom of information request and get that motherfucking indictment and all that and post all that and post our ass stuff, that's, it's never enough. And so don't tell me about a woman who told somebody to kill herself who is depressive in the same sentence and say, oh, Jesus, I love Jesus. You just told him a person who suffers from depression and who's attempted to kill herself before to kill herself. And yesterday, no, no lie, I swear to God, a suicidal thought hit my head. I'm just being real, John. Yesterday, yesterday, when I'm going through, I'm looking at the comments on something else. Okay, so the comments will do it to you. I know I tell people all the time, don't watch the comments. Don't watch the comments. Don't watch, don't watch the comments. It is what it is. But I'm reading it, but y'all know I'm petty. And so my black ass go, and I ask the Lord every day. I say, please take this petty spirit. If I take this petty spirit away from me, if if, if if I get if God take this petty spirit away from me, I'll be a thousand times. 90% of my problems will go away. And so I uh, one second, let me let me just finish this episode in my head, just Uh I, I was I felt some suicide. I had a suicidal thought. And 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 I stopped for a minute and just breathed. Um I talked to my creator, you know. Because I'm reading how people are defending this monster. And I'm like, I, this can't be the world we live in. I don't even want to be here. Like, I don't want to be here with this. If this is the type of behavior that is acceptable on a public level, then I don't want to be with the other one. I'm good. It got to be better up there. You know, it got to, it can't get better. We can't get worse than this. And so I did that with suicidal thought. I did. No shade. I really did. It was small and it was minute. But it passed. It passed. Um, I, I, I spoke to my creator, and I thanked him for life. 
and I remember what the reasons I have for living. And um, and, and I, I moved forward from it. But I did have that yesterday. And so you got to understand what people, <laughs> this is because this is something, you know, this is making neighborhood talk, and they're making it like I really attacked her. I'm a dead ass. I'm in, I'm in bad mood. Uh, my dude had started, he just came over and made me feel a little better too. My people, but um, I'm in bad, I'm in, I'm in bad mood with y'all. <laughs> so let me add this to some of these people. And I'm just being real with y'all. Because this, this, is, this is hard. This is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really, like, I, you know, when I do stuff, I do shit. I do, I'm, y'all know I'm not, the, I'm not the innocent. I'm not gonna, come on. Like, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear here we go. I don't know what it is about every time I get on this live with you, it go to acting crazy. I hear you. I hear you. Oh. Okay, I'm not going to be long because I'm heated, okay? I, I Let me tell you, I took down four posts yesterday regarding that. Because I got a call that was like, Bridget, did you see what happened shaking? So, you know, when I'm trying to be the positive one, and positive thoughts don't come, I don't move. I stand still. I say, God... But listen to me, this is my issue. My issue is not so much the fact of the racist per se. You know what my biggest issue is? She's so-called a black woman talking to a black man. That's my problem. I have a problem when we are comfortable with black women degrading men, but we always got something to say when they degrade us, but we abuse them mentally, verbally, we tear them down, and then everything's supposed to be cool because you're supposed to be a man to be able to take that. You don't know what type of men. A lot of our men are mentally depressed. A lot of our men go through a lot. A lot of our men deal with things that, that they have never felt comfortable with talking about. Do you know how many men shake it actually been molested and don't have nobody to tell? Do you know how many men come contemplate suicide, don't feel like a man, mama abused them, daddy wasn't there, and, and yet we was sent here to be the help me. See, a lot of women don't understand their position. God put us here to be the help me for the men. And when, when it comes down to the toxicity that we talk in men's life, that is acceptable on so many levels that it pisses me off. You, is, you are not going to talk to my daddy any kind of way. You are not going to talk to my brother any kind of way. You're not going to talk to my son any kind of way. Because I do not raise my son to disrespect women. But I'm not going to raise him to take disrespect from you. Because if you're the guy on there and called the all kind of stuff out her neck and said everything but the child of God, you would have been hung from a tree somewhere. And guess what? They would have been mad that you were mad. And you're not supposed to be talking to a woman like that. But our women need to watch their mouth sometimes about how we handle our men. It's all, to me, it's always one-sided. It's always one-sided. It's always respect the black queen. Black, uh, protect the black queen. Uh, but we need to protect our men, too. We need to protect they our men, too. First of all. Huh? They got to... They gotta be somebody or feel somebody, feel somebody, feel some like this somebody in order to be able to protect. How you gonna be a soldier and you never was trained in combat? That's like you can't do it. So they can't be the protector if we are if we if, if we tear them down from day one. How can you be a protector when you never was uh, uh, trained to be a protector? You gotta lift them up and let them know they're the king. Let them know they're a black king. Let them know this is your world. This this and everything you see come from you. And th- this is the knowledge we have to possess, not tear them down, not bring them down, not degrade them and belittle them. This is a, this is a, we have a big problem. The black wo- the black woman wants a protector, the black woman wants a provider, the black woman wants a soldier, but wants to have the soldier, but 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 have the but the, don't allow the mentality to 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 be fruit in their minds and their mindset. How, did you tell your son he was everybody women in here? Did you tell your son he was a king today? What people don't realize is staring down a black man is a part of slavery. It's been like that. That was the way to destroy the black family. If we want to talk history, let's talk real history. They raped our men. They stripped our men from the home. They they taught our women to not have respect for our men so they could destroy the black family. That was the root of it. It's always been like that. They made welfare. Okay, we're not going to pay. We're not going to give men jobs that could afford to take care of their family. Okay, now we're going to start giving black men jobs, but we're going to give 
women welfare so we could turn around, but she can't have a man if she has welfare. So now we want him out the home. We want him out the home. We want to make him feel as low as possible. What, what, what I don't think that we understand is it cannot go one way. A black man is still a human being. He has feelings. He has thoughts. The in do I don't think people realize how the enemy plays on the black male. I really don't. I really don't. I think that it's not even a big conversation. Every time you look around, you see, oh, women empowerment conferences and women empowerment seminars. We need some men empowerment conferences. For a lot of our lost, depressed, broken men. Right. Who, right. who didn't have leadership? Who didn't have no male figure in front of them? Right. Well, you boy, that's a that's a word right now. But we don't see that. Where are the where the black where the black boys rock the kind of, kind of, Where's the black boys conference? Kind of, where is that? Where are they? Why don't we have them? Every where time I look up, we need women in power minutes. We giving women seminars, but but I but we want a man and our men coming in the house and don't know how to lead. Don't know how, half of them don't know how to read. Don't know how to fill out a job application. Don't have, don't know how to do a resume. A lot of the greatness that's behind a lot of black men is behind women because they're not being taught and we don't care to teach them. But then we down talk them, downplay. It, 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 it's such a cycle. It's such a cycle. And I'm not saying that responsibility should be on the male, but I'm just talking about this case in point, using your situation as an example. Saying that a black man did not warrant the treatment he got and the excuses being made. There is no excuse for how you were treated. There was no excuse for how you were talked to. And a real woman was standing in her face and tell her that. And I'm going to say this, and I, and I ain't got nothing to get Shekhan. I don't know her. But if that was your friend, you should have checked her. Because real friends check real friends when they're wrong. The oh. other lady that came and said, um, Life too short, and, and we just need to let it go. No, life too short to be disrespected. Life too short to be letting people talk to you any kind of way and treat you any kind of way, and then expect you to take it, and expect you to take it. Um. So. What's that uh, uh, I, I So in the case of Shekinah, we did speak about it. Uh, in a personal like she, I don't. The internet, I, we, she didn't. Whatever we had, whatever. She knows how I feel about it, and I understand her position, and we discussed it, and it was an amicable discussion. So uh, it, was a, it was a personal online, offline thing that we discussed about that uh, at the end of the day. But trust and believe, uh, she did make known to the to Kiki wife that how horrendous this was from every aspect on her angle. And, uh, and that's I good. And, I, and so if she did that, I apologize. I'm just saying, I know as a friend, I'm not your friend if I don't tell you when you're wrong. That's not real friendship. Right. Real friendship is holding you accountable so you can be a better person, so you can grow from your flaws. And I hope when the, if the shoe was on the other 50 foot, you would tell me. Right. It has to it has to be a mutual understanding because friendship is about helping each other grow from where we was. And I, as a, as a woman who has a 17-year-old son, and, I, and I'm trying my best to raise my son to open doors for women. When he take her out, he pays. To believe in having a job when he has an old lady and get a wife that he provides for her and don't disrespect her. But I'm not going to tell him to be disrespected. I'm not going to tell him to let no woman talk to him like that and think that she has a right to. It, it can't be like that. And I really feel like there's a comfort level in women talking to men any kind of way, even fighting on them. Even when it comes to domestic violence, it's not the same. It's not you, you, I didn't watch teenage girls punch and spit over their boys. I'm not telling my son to take that. This is, it's, it's so, it's, it, and, and the fact that you pointed out that it happened, they were taught to disrespect the black man. This is what we were taught. And that's, 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 that's the key. How do we end that cycle? How do we, we change that mindset of where, our black girls are taught to because then because this is the because because the, the black man by nature is going to fight that he does that's why we having this problem is because the black woman wasn't taught you weren't taught to expect the king you was uh, taught to expect the enemy 
somebody who against you. That's you wasn't taught to expect the king. You wasn't taught to expect a a a, a, a you taught to, to to you like they so complacent with stuff. Like we so you, the black woman, we you can't expect the king if you never was taught to expect it. You was only taught to expect the enemy. So you gonna tell him it's an enemy, even with his inner soul telling him to be a king. You know what? Because we have pushed the, the woman dominant so much that we don't know how to respond. Breaking up system. To not be proud to be an independent woman. To not be proud that you can stand on your own two feet. But but you don't have to downplay a man to do that. You don't have to make a man feel like he ain't nothing. It doesn't matter if he's around. We we got to get out of saying I don't need you and get back to saying yes, I need my son's father in his life. I need. We need our uncles. We need our dads. We need our brothers. The mindset of a man not being needed is so heavy right now to the point where we're teaching women to build their life up to not need a man. And I'm not saying that to say that it's a negative. I'm saying that to say that it's being pushed to the point where men are not being respected if they are around, if they are present. I'm an independent woman. I can pay my own bills. I can take care of myself. But if I, if a man comes in my life, I don't treat him. I make him feel every day like I can give a damn if he there. If that's the case, why do I have him there? Wow. If I'm not willing or ready to treat him like a king, me with all my independence, then what's the point? Then, what, then what's the one point second, of having sister. him around? What's, one second. Hold on. Let me address something. Okay. So I am Mooney Boo. Let me say something. You let me say you something. You silly bitch. So listen, since you don't know, I'm gonna educate you. I am Mooney Boo, Mooney Boo, Mooney Boo, whatever your name is. Check this out. The super they're referring to in the comments is the real super bitch who panel we were on. They're not talking about super saying. You the only one. You the only stupid bitch in here mentioning that dumb asshole. So at the end of the day, you are obsessed with super. You blame you the super. Talking for about super? I, I don't Nobody was talking about super. Nobody brought our super. This stupid, silly bitch think we talk about super because she want us to talk about super. She want us to talk about super. And the super that we're referring to in the comment is the is the real super bitch who is the panel we was on. Okay? That funky cheat that bitch don't own the word super. So in case you get no silly bitch, I hope you feel stupid right now. And I hope you feel played and want to do something to me. Or get your brother in them because I'm going to knock them hoes out one by motherfucking one. The fuck? <laughs> This oh whole up in here, just I, I didn't, even, about, I didn't know super, super name. You talk bad about that woman all day. I haven't talked about her today. So it's not all day. I haven't talked about this woman in two weeks. Even when she broke up with that herpes having nigga that she had last time, that was all for a motherfucking cloud chase. She playing in your face. She not playing in my you stupid bitch. And I hope you feel stupid. You obsessed with her, not me. Because you don't even know the fuck we talk about. You want comment and don't know a bitch ass thing what the fuck going on. Just wrong for nothing. I'm about to say, I, know, and wrong. I have I have purposely on, made sure I just watch myself. I, I was look, I don't have nothing to say about the young lady and I know I didn't come on here talking about it, so I don't know where that came from. I don't know what happened. Uh, uh who I, I'm but I said all that to say, Shaky, let me tell you something. You mm -mm. do not deserve to be disrespected. As a black male as a black homosexual male, as a black homosexual male with nails and green hair. You do I not deserve nails. to be disrespected. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saying that, I'm saying that as a black woman to you, to, to let you know that you deserve to be respected. Not for all the accolades in which we name, but because you are a person. Because you are a person. What? And I think that as a, as a woman, I think we need to tell a lot of our men, you deserve respect. You are king. You deserve to be respected. You deserve to be honored. Many of them to have the attitude you have towards them. Who would have thought that you did us something to, to, to get treated like that? 
Yeah. 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 I went to, I went back like two years looking at all of the stories. It's breaking up on my side. I was like, wait, wait, hold on. So I'm like, I had to go see, did I block my hubby for or something? And I just didn't know about it. I had to go look and see. If I ever talked, I never did. She never been in the So I was shocked because. I don't follow Kiki like that. Let me tell you something, honest, uh, honest, honesty about me. Most things I know about celebrities come from if I get on social media and see it. But I'm not a big fan of any celebrity where I look at their life, if that makes sense. If I know you from singing, that's all I'm going to follow you about is singing. Because your husband, your life with your kids, that ain't my business. I, I, that's just Bridget. I don't believe, I don't get too attached to celebrities beyond the gift that they have presented to the world. So if you Michael Jordan, and I know you because you're a great basketball player, that's the only thing I follow is basketball. I, I don't I don't want to know about you and your wife. I don't, because I don't get that attached to a human just because they're popular. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean that they're a great person. And I think that sometimes we get so attached to people off of popularity that we think we know who they are, what they deserve, how they should be treated, you know, and, and things like that. And in and, and, and sense, and I don't mean to go, you know, there, but since the young lady brought up super, I'm going to say it. Um, A lot of people roll with super and don't know her. Just like a lot of people say, say negative things about her and don't, don't, they haven't had no personal experience. People just know popularity and they roll with popularity. And since you roll with popularity, you automatically think a person deserve or don't deserve something. You know what I'm saying? And, and it shocks you. And I don't know how it shocks you because they are human, which means they could be something that you don't know they are. Right. And so, and this would, I guess this will preserve me. A lot of people don't know the history. And I'm just tired of saying it. I'm tired of saying, how do you explain that your child who follows this woman, who bought this woman products, have to listen to you tell them your daddy needs to die like Messi Maya, who is also somebody that I hold in high regard, and he needs to die because he told me about this video. Even though it turned out the fact that she you know, Like, what the fuck? Like, I have to give, how do I tell that to my child? Or what was the show? My daughter follows me. Follow. My daughter follows her and all of and, I, and my child had to watch my well, this woman tell me from your punk ass, faggot ass daddy to die because this motherfucker don't, would never cheat on me. And next month after that, the nigga cheated on her and she break up with him again. But he got to die like Mr. Body. Put him on a t shirt. I'm this time to do it. My daughter had to watch that. And I got to be friends with Super? Fuck no. She going to always get what the fuck I got to do. I don't know if my daughter watches <laughs> I, I read somebody say that. That is on me that, you know, y'all y'all follow them and y'all want to be inspired by them. This is what you don't understand. You can be inspired about things, about the person. That don't mean you have to be inspired about with the individual. Because there's not a human alive, you're going to agree with every single thing that they do. And so soon as you disagree with them, they aren't what you thought they should be. Listen to me. I got a lot of people that follow me on social media. And guess what? They may be inspired by some things I do. And, but there's going to be other things that I do that they may be like, I, I ain't feeling that. You know, and that's that's fine. I'm saying that's a human. You getting, you getting too attached to a human. I don't care how attached you get to a person, a person can steer you wrong. A person can steer you wrong. That, that person is not meant to be what you think they should be. Shaking, they got a lot of people following you for one reason. But then turn around if you do something that they don't like, they expect you to fix it for them. <laughs> you like I'm just saying, like, shaky is shaky. The reason people follow Shaky is because of what he put out and his opinion on things. It wasn't always to say, oh, everybody gonna agree with it. I don't agree with a lot of stuff you say. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't agree with a lot of things I say. But I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to change my opinion about a subject so you can be inspired by me. There's things you're going to be inspired by and there are things you're going to disagree with. That's the reality. And I really felt like Kiki, she can be an awesome singer, but she was wrong. 
And I think that people don't know how to yeah, separate the two. Oh yeah, her gift ain't her gift definitely not in the mind. It's definitely that of in the voice. <laughs> but so let me ask you something. Did you because they say she apologized? Did you hear the apology? She apologized for how I took what she said, not what she said. I'm sorry you took it like that. I was talking about the monkey between your legs. That's what she said. I'm sorry you took it like that. She didn't apologize for what she said. I'm breaking up or you breaking up, sister. I got four balls now. Who you got? I believe Shake is talking down and it's breaking up so bad. I am talking down. I'm talking down. <laughs> she apologized. But in my opinion, she y'all can hear me or that's her? <laughs> he breaking up, yo. It's me or y'all? Uh, maybe it's my internet he breaking up on. I don't know. I hear you good, though. Well... I don't know what he's saying. Sound like he's buffering real bad. I'm going to hang up, y'all. It was. Y'all, yeah. All right. So that was, yeah, that was the sister B speaks. She talks. Yeah, what's up? It was me, her, and. Okay. Okay. So that's the sister B speaks. She talks real, real eloquent. She's a long time step up, been in the, um, long time real, just tell the truth. I mean, we've been doing this for a while now. Um, but I will say this. Um, yeah, I heard about, I heard her. I heard her eat good. But, okay, so this, I will say this. Let me tell you something. She apologized for how I felt about it. That's not no, that's not no apology. That's not no apology. You apologize for how I felt about what you say. You not apologize for what you say. El Monique, I can get yours too, sister. While you up in here typing. She feel like she's entitled to just be whoever she is. And that shit is just not what's up. It wasn't a real apology. It was some bullshit. She not bipolar. I think she's motherfucking schizophrenic. Can't what's wait up? to see you tonight. Definitely, definitely. I just got the, I got the text and I'm, I'm ready. And it was gonna be, it's going to be lit. Absolutely. Yeah, what what you doing? doing? Nothing, just going over this situation with uh, talk this this snowballing situation with Miss uh Mrs uh Katara. Oh sure. Lord, have mercy! Not the uh, not the government. Let me get out of the way, baby. This oh <laughs> Okay, Mrs. love you. See you tonight. See you tonight, sister. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> So I like I said I heard the I heard yeah I hate that you need to apologize for what you did. Girl, come on up here. And then these blinds posted like I fucked with her first. She's very very broken. I don't know what she's going through. Okay, at this front. She told me kill myself, girl. <laughs> Why do people be throwing this death around so much? I don't never do that. But that's me. I ain't never told about. I hope they die, wish they die, wish death upon them. They come back at you. I took it for shake it. I always take it for. I always take it for. I always take it for. Now you gotta come live and tell me what I would what how far I took it or you gotta get up out of here. Since you more comment, you're a burn page. You know what time it is. You know I do that. You know what's up. Burn pages don't get no love over here. You know that. Burn pages, y'all got to sit down in the back and be quiet. I was, I was. What's up, Shay? Yeah, you told me I took it far. How far I'm supposed to? What, 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 give me the rule book for. Okay, well, you know, I, you know, I'm sis, so I'm gonna keep it real with you because I fuck with you. I know you shaking, you do your thing, and I watch some of it. First of all, she just seemed like she got issues. Period. So let's just be real with that. Her conversation with, well, hold on, you hear my babies in the back. Hold on. I am. He said, I am. Shut up, Shay. Oh. <laughs> um, so with that, it seemed like, okay, you can't really have a conversation if you don't agree with it. Because she didn't even let Buddy get out what he had to say. So that makes the issue with, you really have an issue with communicating with people. So let's just be honest with that. So on top of that, which with that, it's like, okay, I didn't even hit her apology. I'm going to be honest with you, but if, she, if you're saying she gave you that, I'm like, okay, well, 
Well, that's what it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? But I, I guess it's not what you wanted, Shaky, but I feel like with looking at her and how she communicates, I don't think you're ever going to get what you're looking for. Does that, does that make sense? She told me, I'm sorry that you took it wrong, but I meant it this way. Because somebody else was talking. She said somebody else had read her earlier. Uh, and so she was like, so I'm sorry you took that this way. That was her apology. She did not apologize to me. She apologized to how I took something that was said. Okay. So when when was about the what what you said about her saying that you, the death thing? After I left, after I left the whole thing, I left. What I did, I said, my bad, baby. I shouldn't even be here. And I left. I got my happy ass. I got my fat ass up out there. You know what she did? <laughs> she said, I hope he died. I, go kill yourself. Fat ass. Need to go on a diet. You look like the fucking Coke bottle. Green Oh, wow. Monkey. Yeah. So at okay. the end of the day, I'm trying to see how far I was going to go. Well, I, well, well, because I know you, let's just be honest, you, you got a patty bone. And once that bitch is sweet, it is what it is. Right. But so, well, no, she took you that shaky. No, bitch, my, you know you had me call the lady on uh, goddamn phone, speaking on the voicemail like a petty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch! There go, she changed her number. I make a bitch change their number. That's what I do. Change. I know she did. I say, bitch, pay, this bitch don't post to the address. I don't know what she said, but all gloves was off. But that's only why, because when you say that she gave you an apology, I'm like, well, damn, Shay, she gave you an apology. What else she want from her? It was a real, though. That was some fake ass shit. Damn, my heart. You gonna have this lady, she already going through something, all them goddamn churns. She's gonna have oh. a real nervous breakdown for real, Shay. That's on her body. She shouldn't have fucked with me. I ain't doing nothing. She started with me. <laughs> you don't get to choose how the fuck I retaliate. When that, where, I'm just what I'm saying. Where's the rule book? And, and it ain't rule one. Book? And, that, and that's, that's, you're right. It ain't one. I want to send a message to people, to her, to everybody else. Like, I don't really do nobody nothing. I might g give you a little one, two article on my page and laugh at you and kick in. That'll be it. Take that and move on. You're in the public. You're a public person. Do your door deals and keep it pushing. But don't come in here fucking with me because I'm going to, I'm going to air you out so you know don't ever fuck with me again. Or this is the consequences of that. Because you know how bitches make it. I'm like, well, wait. I'm going to go far. Uh, they, the mates, they say shake it on God mad and got in his feeling. I was like, well, get mad about what? Then I say, say uh, Kiki called and shake your green hair monkey. I say, I know shake it and take the boots off of that. Listen, let me say something. I'm going to show you something, okay? Super set, before Super set threatened my life, I saw her at least threaten three or four people's life. I mm. saw her threaten a makeup artist's life, Tracy Brown life. I'm going to get, I'll kill you. But after me, I don't see her threatening people's life no more. I don't see her doing right. I see her doing, going on little rants and stuff. But even when she was beefing with Andrew Caldwell, she ain't threatening his life. That just seemed like that was staged. First of all, that shit was so, ugh. That, that really pissed me off. So I'm trying to see. So guess what Kiki Y not going to do? She not going to disrespect other black men. That's what she not going to do now. She learned very quickly. I made, I made my perk. She would never disrespect another black man like that again. She might even come on. She might not even come online. To me. <laughs> All right, then, Shay. But I fuck with you, baby. Be safe. I love you, man. All right. Bitch might not even come online to me. So, yes, I'm going to go the furthest I could go, and I'm gonna, I'm not finished. I'm going to keep going further and further. <laughs> I'm going to go further until I get tired. So I get tired. I'm going to go till I get tired. So I get bored with it. That's what's going to happen. See, that's what they don't understand. It ain't sweet over here. I gave you an out. Cause I was I was I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. So at the end of the day, my bad. But one thing about her two things for sure. She won't disrespect another black man. She gonna think two or three times. Well, who this motherfucker gonna be? Could this motherfucker go off on me? Like that last motherfucker went off on me? 
she have a she have a slave owner's mentality. Listen to what I'm telling you. This woman have a slave owner's mentality. She feels entitled and privileged. This she thinks this black stuff just given to her because she got a little black in her. She feel like she's entitled to say and do whatever she wants, and she can hide behind the shield of oh, I got a little black in me, so it's okay for me to do this. And that's just not the and well, that's and that sounds cute, and that could be okay, but that ain't it over here, me. That ain't it over here. Not with Shaky anyway. I might be it with somebody else, but not with me. And so even though I paid you and tried to let this be gone, you continue to disrespect it. And so, bitch, what I'm doing to this bitch is what the fuck needs to be done to this bitch. But on a worse or more grander scale, that's what needs to be done to this bitch. Fuck her. Let her mama look. My mama got her own issues looking like she were. My mama sound racist too. The mom sound more racist than her, to be honest with you. The mom for real racist. The mom sound more racist than that. The mom sound more racist. No shit. That mama sound more racist. I'll give you something. Like, oh. I want something to snack on by my mama. I had to come give her something there because I'm doing my legs today. And then my mama was sit down and do curl shit. <laughs> I'm a real life fag girl. Since since this since the room is me and my mama don't get along. Okay. Baby, the mom said, because I'm going to say the N-word. And them, uh, and them black women was like, oh, no, you're not. <laughs> them black women was like, oh, no, you're not. Well, what you think, the sweet over here? <laughs> I was like, okay, come on, black woman, come through. They, listen. Hi, yeah, I <laughs> them black women was like, no, you're not. No, the hell, you're not. You know, I'll be in Houston every other weekend. You will never come back to me. Girl, I, I live in Atlanta now. Oh, you live in Atlanta? I'll be in Atlanta every month. Yeah, I'm, I'm living in Atlanta now. You got to come see me, Shaky. Oh, girl, I don't think Atlanta was ready for you, girl. You don't think Atlanta ready for? Oh. Wait, Shaky. Yes, baby. You're not paying attention. I'm going to come back later. Okay, baby, I'm, I'm trying to get my stuff together. Put that coupon off, Let me go buy it now. I'm at the... <laughs> I'm going to buy it. You ain't going to buy it on magazine. Alright, friend, you know you take those chicks, baby. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye, baby. <laughs> he can't kill nobody. It's about dollar. She stabbed the motherfucker. She can't kill him. Stabbing him and kill him is two different things. Girl, my car is so sexy, girl. No shit, girl. I ain't. I look, y'all. I, I know I don't do this, but I gotta show y'all. She's sexy. When she clean, clean, she's sexy, sexy. She ain't clean, 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 clean. 
Who is she clean, clean? She's sexy. I love her. That hoe giving me life, girl. She giving me life, girl. With that black rim, girl. She giving me sexy, bitch. <laughs> girl, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, bitch. Stop. I'm that bitch. <laughs> girl, I'm supposed to feel like that bitch. <laughs> girl, that's all. Yeah, but, <laughs> that was a little personal moment. But listen, this is what we're not going to do. This is what we're not going to do. You heard me. This is what we're not going to do. What we're not going to do? What we're not going to do? What we're not going to do is make excuses. That's what we're not going to do. So listen. This is what we're going to have to do. So check this out, y'all. I'm about to go by my mama. We by my mama in a few seconds. I love y'all. You heard me. And um, y'all have a good day. I just want to come and touch base with y'all on what was actually occurring. And uh, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk. We got more coming. Uh, we definitely will be bringing more tea on this bitch. I definitely have some more stuff to spill. The bank statement is another thing. The bank... Uh, <laughs> I saw that bitch bank account. The bitch broke like a motherfucker. God got my money in the bank there, girl. And she got a joint account. How about that? So, <laughs> girl, you sure, you sure you want to keep claiming that white girl shit, girl? You sure, you sure that's what you want to keep claiming? <laughs> I don't think them white people like you like that. No shit, no shit, sister. I don't know. That's I have found that, but that's definitely her mom. Yeah. So I love y'all. I will take. I'll talk to y'all later.